Hi guys, welcome back. So as you can see in front of me, there's a mound more of money, basically. I've had to invest more money um, into the ongoing development for you. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be like a part two video, completely new things. And I'm gonna kind of talk through it with you as granular as possible. And kind of for the people who are interested, you'll love this. So the motto of my business is spend a ridiculous amount of money on some ridiculous products, or in this case, accessories, tested to the death and back, and then release it onto you guys. Boom. Business 101. Not the smartest idea, but it's worked well for me so far. Um, and I think this is where I excel. I mean, I, I've been itching to do this video. So as you can see in front of me, this is microfiber. So I bought three of each three of each, and I'm gonna go through this with you. I only opened this just to have a look what's like sort of packaging that they came in. But apart from that, the bags haven't been opened. Obviously, this towel came from this bag, so I'm gonna keep it there. Everything else, I do not know, I haven't felt, so this is gonna be a shocking to you to watch my reaction, as is gonna be my reaction on these towels. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six big sacks filled with microfiber, let's do it. So now that you've seen the bags, not hiding anything, we're gonna do, we're gonna go one by one. Right, let's do it. In fact, where did that, I open, obviously, I opened it from here, so. Lock. Woo, it's gonna be interesting. So again, guys, obviously, as you know, you can see this unfolding right before your eyes, so this is no joke. This is not like one day I'll come up and go, ah, you know what, this ain't happening. This is the real deal. This is now the third big order I've done in with the third manufacturer, and we're doing it. Now, you've seen how much I love the last towels. Now, all the cars are outside behind me. There is no car, so this video is not going to be a testing video. This is going to be a reaction feel video. Um, and we'll see. So it's like one, two, three. All right, let's do this. So from what I can see, this is... Right, this is a twist loop. Is this a twist loop? Yeah. Very thin, quite a big size. All right, so I'm going to put these... Yeah, that's... It's a big towel. So again, obviously I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a, a double-sided, single-sided twist loop. Who the hell knows, maybe a hybrid? Because I do know, I had to look through the list of what I ordered. I do know there's gonna be a towel in here that you're gonna be like, the goddamn doing this, the real as well, the real one and not the, the copycat ones. Right, so that is the single side twist loop, fair enough. Now this is the double sided twist loop, all right? Tiny one. Double sided, yeah, so it's two towel, uh, on this one anyway, it's two towels sewn together. Obviously a nice little color code between the two sides. Now obviously I'm, I'm going to explain to you the method behind the madness here because as you can see, one towel is already probably three times as big as this towel. So um, the reason why I'm going for custom sized towels is because yes, you can kind of get one big towel, which you saw in the previous microfiber development video. Uh, it's great, right? No doubt about it. But what happens if you want to dry your wheels? So, the whole point is me trying to do a dedicated product for every de dedicated surface is there's a reason behind this because you're not going to be drying your door jam with something that's almost a meter in, a bit in length or your wheel. You know, imagine the, the six o'clock position of the wheel right next to the floor. You don't want to be having a big towel kind of falling down onto the ground. This is the same family of towel as this. But as you can see now, we're starting to pump the sizes up. Now this is thicker than version one video that you saw, 100% thicker, because 
Yeah, this is, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I do like them thick, but I know what happens with thick towels. I'm literally bringing you in for the ride. Obviously this is towel number three on the small one. So you get to see everything that I see. Now that's strange, because this towel, all right, or am I just, am I just seeing things here? Because this towel, one, feels thinner, a lot thinner. Now is this bigger? Oh yes, I was right, look at that. Am I, no, what? I don't know what's happened there with my, my eyes. I mean, look at the, whew, that's huge. Wow, okay, okay. But definitely the bottom, so this is, yeah. I'm not smoking anything here, this is thicker. Yeah, you can see it's thicker. In fact, let me bring you in closer. So obviously if you look at the right hand side, so the right hand side here is definitely thinner than the left hand side. Or am I seeing things? You could definitely see that in person. Yeah. So, so this is the third towel that I've opened. And look, now you can see the, the double sole. So two towels in one. That is strange. Jesus Christ, I've got, right. I'm ready to start a wholesale business at this rate. Right, now we're getting somewhere. So, can you see this? So let's look at that again, dual color, fantabidozy. All right, let's compare the colors. Let me start moving this to this side. So then we can start. Right. So just to make sure these are all the same because I'm gonna categorize them. Yeah, beautiful. When you love what you do and you spend astronomical amounts of money, it's never, you know, it almost doesn't seem like a bad idea. <laughs> so this is the, this is a dual, a dual purpose towel. This is, um, this is a twist loop material with a plush material. Now there's been a lot of kind of copies or cheaper alternatives to this. Obviously this isn't one of these. This is kind of a very, very original version. Let's just say that. So again, I should have, if I believe, I should have another one of these somewhere else within the pack. So I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is definitely not the medium version. This is the largest, this is going to the smallest. Obviously somewhere I've missed that out the pack, but obviously we are gonna get through the whole pack. Now this, can you see what I'm talking about? Look, right, I can hold it with one hand, this could be like a door jam towel or a wheel towel, who knows? Um, it's it's gonna have obviously huge absorbency kind of potential because of the twist loop and the blend of the actual plush fibers. Very important because something's plush doesn't mean it's absorbent or not absorbent. Um, but Traditionally, the two best weaves within the absorption rates, you've got uh, the twist loop and the waffle weave. So I'd be interested to test this out. Get these out. Hoppa. Right. <laughs> All right, this is a, a standard, a standard waffle weave. I'm not even gonna unpack this for now. So it's a 16 by 16 light blue standard waffle weave. So um, the edging on it, I immediately do not like. Yeah. Smaller waffle weave than usual. So I'm automatically putting that towards the side. I'm not gonna even look at that. Um, right, this is, whoa, what is this bad boy? Interesting, I think this is the same towel as this. Yeah, this is the smaller version of the same said towel. 
lovely look at that so it folds into a nice little square now this is the thing with me obviously i've i've been a big proponent of um white towels for for many reasons both functionally in terms of like a function a, a functionality point of view one you can technically wash all the towels together and not have any issues with any kind of color runs and then especially on the drying side the plush side um well let's talk about the drying side if if you go and pick up a bit of black you can see it obviously if you start picking up a lot of black you've messed up because you should have washed your car better so that's the whole issue uh, no that's the whole advantage of white but then we've had a ton of customers ring say one they like tow uh, towels with colors again that's personal preference isn't it so i can never win with kind of all kind of customer ideas and second of all what which i agree with is you can actually designate towels so for example this purple towel here you can say you can use it for your drying of the the paint and this one which is exactly the same towel it's slightly smaller though you can say this is like my door jam towel so obviously you immediately um unless you can't see the color of towels but normally you you can kind of designate the piles which kind of makes it easy and you can obviously wash these in their own piles so you can avoid color runs let's say now these i'm interested in right what is this oh this is lovely holy mother right this is nice so i've gone for three types of the same towel in different gsms right so gsm being ground per square meter a little bit of dust so this immediately i know which towel this is this is the lightest version of it so this is the 350 variant so 350 gsm oh, it just feels like oh it feels like my dog really smooth because my dog's hair or fur gets conditioned by me <laughs> um, but yeah this is the 350 variant as you can see very thin lovely color by the way nice yellow uh, not going anywhere so another pack and i already have a feeling i know what one of the towels is this should be a heavier version of the yellow towel that you see over there so let's have a look yeah so this is the this is the 500 yeah i mean i love plush right plush is my game it's in my name it's in my blood currently it's in my sweat because it's boiling um but yeah i love plush towels but i do realize sometimes there is a drawback to plush um sometimes it could be weather dependent obviously if it's too hot um it, it may kind of throw a few issues as in the fibers start to kind of stick a bit potentially on the paint um if you've got something that's super baked on again it shouldn't but if it does again eventualities like this do happen something dries on the car the sun peaks out sometimes a plush towel is not what you need you need something with a bit more bite um and this is where kind of the shorter nap towels again i think we what we are getting to them we are getting to them um but i mean plush you know the final wipe kind of category i think it's obviously i'm going to try and put this in order because i do have a third one incoming here somewhere um again this is oh yes now this is a dual sided again you saw in the last video was a purple towel in that instance but um on this towel it's black it's just easier just to test it now the plushness of this or the plush side isn't as thick as it was on the last one again i will see if that makes any difference if that's a good thing in this case or if it's a bad thing or in the purple towel if the plushness actually does add anything to it and obviously the slicey side on the short side obviously you've got the very tight knit low pile exactly what i was just talking about before if you do want to kind of slice through a product with a little bit more ease i think this is your towel and it kind of gives you that yeah i'm just looking at it here it gives you that um capability of using both sides i mean obviously if if this towel line specifically i mean just just look at it so far if this towel 
line materializes, then obviously you're going to see. Um, I would always recommend you stock as many towels as you can of each type. Now this, again, this is the same towel as the black one. However, this time it's edged. So if I'm not mistaken, I'm a, I'm a towel perv. This is probably either suede. Yeah, it's definitely not silk. So it'll be suede. So it's suede banded or edged, let's say. Oh yes. Big business time now, but look, it's re it's that it's that small towel. I don't know why I like small things. Um, yeah, it's just nice. So see, this now will come line in line. So obviously you've got small. In fact, let's see if I could do it. Look, where's already the size? The folded obviously equally, and obviously you don't need to see the big towel because it's humongous. So this is the tiny, tiny variant. Now another edge towel, this is, oh, in fact, oh, good shout, I've actually pulled out two of the same towel <laughs> back to back un unadvertently, I didn't mean to do this. Now this is an edged version, yeah, the, yeah these edges I'll not go for, 100%. This towel's already dead to me, I don't like the edging, it just looks horrible. It looks cheap, but it's not cheap if you know what I mean, so... Sometimes looks can be very deceiving. Um, I can already tell this. I mean, the towel itself is high quality. But you know the edge. Even though the edging is, is precision. It's like, it looks like a robot has done this. It probably has as well. But it's just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I'm not going to go with this. I mean, the towel blends lovely. But this is, as I said, I didn't mean to pull them out at the same time. But this is the edgeless version. So this looks... It's different, obviously. I can feel the blending is, is different to the towel. The feel of it's slightly different. But this is comparable to our uh, utility towel. So utility, this will probably be our plush towel. And obviously the larger version in our line. But this could be our drying towel. Now, yeah, just it feels strange. It feels a tad heavier. It's got a bit more weight to it. Now, I know it's almost impossible. How can you feel aware of a towel? you know, if it's 50 gram in it, but if you touch as many towels as I have recently, or just in general, then yeah, I do like this. I mean, just look at the edging is obviously there's a bit of fluff there, but the, the laser cut, so obviously this is laser cut. Um, and the, the beauty of this is, is that when you do edgeless cuts, and this is where obviously you need to look out for um, a premium versus cheap um, kind of knockoff towel. When you start doing thermal cutting or thermal laser cutting, obviously the, the production of microfibers, polyester polyamide, it's, it's basically plastic, right? In, in some instances, let's just call it plastic for this comparison. Obviously there's a bit more to that, but yeah, especially polyester. Um, when you do heat, just think about this, heat, and plastic, what happens, melts. Now, the edgeless cutting machines, obviously they cut millions of towels. So obviously, <laughs> like this, makes friction. Friction causes heat, heat causes melted plastic. Now, cheap towels is, if you get edgeless towels, just feel your edge. Like honestly, pick a towel up like this, right? And feel it. Just run your hand across it like that. I can guarantee you most of the super cheap towels, especially if you're a manufacturer, like if you, like with us, let me tell you this, every towel we get, like literally I lay out, say our plush towel, and I lay thousands of them out at a time, and I'll feel every towel, I will massage it, I'll make sure there's no bits in there, obviously things happen at manufacturing level. You know, if there's a bit of black to it, blue to it, or if there's like a dye or whatever, like any of these things, Towels get rejected by us, either I use them, because there's nothing wrong with a towel, but it's not retail kind of ready. So either I use them or if they're completely like dead, then obviously they just go in the bin or we use them for the floors. So it's a good, obviously, um, a reseller may never see this kind of instance, or a buyer specifically will, will never see this. Usually, like if you think about a company like us, if we were reselling to somebody else, 
we are already cutting the middleman out in terms of quality control because we are the quality control. So I know the reseller will, 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 should never have an issue because we've checked it. Now, if you do obviously buy these multi-packs of towels, especially the super thin ones, something like this, then they're not going to do quality control. So just feel it. Obviously, heat, as I said, causes melted plastic shards almost, obviously, because the plastic then shrivels up. Imagine you take this towel on a very expensive paint job and you're doing a final wipe, <laughs> scratch, um, or it could be, obviously, your personal pride and joy, even if the car's worth a thousand pounds to some people, it's worth a million pounds. So this is where it's, it's, it's very important to actually look at the, at the thermal kind of cutting procedures of, or the laser cutting of, of these manufacturers. But so far, I mean, look, um, I was completely honest with this towel. I said, uh, even though the edging is top notch, it's still not my style edging. So it's going out the window, let's say. Oh yes, more towels, here we go. And this should be what I think it should be, yeah. So this is the final edition. So, so let me move this here. This is the 600 GSM. Oh, look at this. Just look at the quality of this towel. It's just super thick, I mean. There's a massive way to it. So obviously the fiber construction on this is, um, oh, you know, if you were to make this into a, a five by five meter, this could be a bloody good, um, like um, a bed cover this, like a, was it a throw over, throw easy or whatever they're called, easy throws. Um, I can't speak today. I say that in every video, by the way, I, and, and that basically the moral of the story is I can never speak any day. But yeah, I mean, there's a huge, I mean, just look. You can quite clearly see three towels, same size, 16s by 16s, but you, you could see the height levels. Obviously the piles are thicker and they get pushed up. So 350, 500, 600. Now, 600s, obviously, whoa, it's starting to get to the, Unsweet. They look nice, they feel nice, not going to lie, and they'll perform okay, but once you start talking a little bit, I mean, we don't do any hard-to-use products, but imagine you use another company, whatever, um, and some products you obviously need, I joke about this, but some manufacturers make a product where you need 77 towels, four wet, four dry, four moist, and this is where a towel in this application will probably struggle. Now, this is a completely new, um, completely new blend of towel, this. This is um, a coral blend or, yeah, so it's a coral blend of towel. Um, I've used something like this in the past. Um, I'll need to do testing on this towel again, but from my past experience, they don't wash as well for some reason, and they don't take any sort of heat nicely. They kind of really tack up. But then again, you'll never know anything without test. I mean, the feel lovely, I mean, the color of it, oof, look at that. This could be like a dedicated wax towel, I don't know. Now, this is where I'm gonna probably um, have to bite my tongue because even though these don't look like anything in the plush category, obviously, they've got a slight two side blend, dust everywhere um, yeah so it's got a slight two two tone let's call it a two or a two texture feel to it so obviously the short side and a slightly more kind of plush side I'm going to use that term very lightly because it's not as obvious as the black towel you've just seen but the reason I need to bite my tongue is because I do realize when you're doing heavy compound removal heavy wax removal these towels sometimes, believe it or not, are king. They may not feel like kings, they may not look like kings, but yeah. And also, there's a fly everywhere. Um, see, I'm already starting the towel testing. See how they swing. <laughs> so, as I was saying, it's sometimes these towels, believe it or not, 
I'm, obviously, I've used these towers on polish removals. They are great. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So, again, there's a, there's a different consistency between, obviously, um, short nap, short nap. They feel different. This feels a lot lighter than this. Not by much, but still, I, you can feel it. And here, what I thought, <laughs> that would be the last bag. Ooh, oh, man. This is another, right, so you know the, the big towel which is here, as I said, it's a, a dual blend. This is also a dual blend, but um, with a different thing. So like I've always said to you, there's two best blends for drying. So you've got um, twist loop and waffle weave. So obviously this is like a waffle weave slash plush in lines. Now coming on to, well, no, wrong. Let me rephrase that. This is a twist loop with plush in lines. This is a waffle weave now. So this is, this has got the same consistency. So let me come show you. This is special. Look at this. Let me knock the aperture down. Look at this. Right, that's better. This has got the same as you, can you see the squares? Yeah, black squares. So this, the black squares like this are the waffle weave, but you've got this unbelievable plush kind of consistency. So like, as I was saying, the plush consistency is, it almost feels, in fact, I can't even describe it because I know there's obviously there's hundreds of blends of plush towel, right? or the plush say fiber there's so it's almost incomparable to what i'm feeling even with the super soft ones yeah that's completely different so well it feels it anyway but look so this is huge right so you've got this one size let me just make sure same size same size ah there we go so three of the small ones oh yes now this Obviously, this will have its own benefit of kind of the, the waffle weave structure behind it. You know, the backbone of the towel is going to be, is, is where the absorbency is going to go. So obviously we're going to do this. I mean, look at that. That is, oh. it's not the perfect size, so I may have to adjust this because it just seems really long, but not as kind of deep. But then again, look, you, you can fold it like this and it's good. Obviously you can fold it in, even into eighths, um, but that's, yeah, that's nice. So I'm hoping that I've got um, the, the baby, baby version of this one to kind of complete, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember this. This was ordered a while ago. So, but obviously, can you see there's, um, well, not dust, it's, it's the fibers. This is the, <laughs> this is the plush towel kind of showing you its true colors. I'm covered in them. But again, this is why I would recommend you wash every towel right out the pack. Um, one, to get rid of any manufacturing dust and two, this the loose fibers and the last bag jesus thank you for by the way thank you all for sticking around this long for the people who are really bought into me you're all legends all right xl and medium you see an xl and medium name on this so i'm get it has to be one of the bigger towels because there's no other towels that are in the XL. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, is this? If this is what I think size wise, I mean, that other towel is huge. Jesus. Right. So this is again, this is the, we're bouncing onto the twist loop one. Yeah. This is the XL. Right. Gotcha. This is the bigger version of. Well, in fact, let me check, because they don't look that big. 
then again, no, it is, yeah, yeah, massive, yeah. There's a huge difference, right, okay, gotcha. So this is the, I mean, just look at that. I mean, this will dry, it's very thin, which is very interesting. It's not as thick as the double twist loop side, which you would expect to be, obviously thicker. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the thinnest towel of a felt, but, you know, for a drying towel, it's, it feels very tight, so you know, you can get a really fluffy fleece that's light, or you can get a short enough fleece that you can feel as heavy. This feels like this. Not the thickest, but there's some weight behind it. Obviously due to its size and stuff. Right, wow. So, I'm gonna leave these here for now. I'm gonna do you a few close-ups. That's obviously what you want to see. All right, there we go. I've organized it a bit better. It's gonna be one a hell of a task. This is the, you thought last one was quite big. This is um, unbelievable. So, just, I'm gonna count it, how many variants I've got. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26, obviously, um, I've discarded what three types of towels there, so it's 29 total, but 26 is what has visually, this is the most important thing, visually has impressed me. I'll probably whittle them down even further when I do the physical testing, but this is what we're looking at, 26 towels. Um, yeah, it's gonna be some serious, serious um consideration to do so obviously i'm going to bring you in now closer just I've, I've organized them in piles the best i could i think that's the drying line obviously this is drying all that sort of stuff plush non-plush all that sort of stuff um and let's start a microfiber discussion in the comments below please you're going to watch the close-ups so you you've already got this far in the video let me know what catches your eye what catches your attention to what I've said? Because obviously I'm gonna be as honest as I can with you because I'm not gonna say, for example, imagine this was like a, a junk towel, obviously it's a myth, but let's say it's a junk towel. Oh my God, it's amazing. And then you buy it and you go, yeah, it's junk. I'm, not, I'm never gonna buy anything. So I'm gonna be in my best interest, of course, I'm gonna be as honest as I can. Obviously I know what I want and by proxy you will want what I want because you know the people who really follow me kind of have the same taste as me um and this is the beauty of it so let's bring you in but again let's start a discussion let me know uh, obviously you can't feel it for now but visually everything that i've said i'll be really curious but right let's do it less chat more video right so the first one you've got the double twist loop small medium and large Look at the quality of the blend. So, again, very nice. Now, this is the single-sided twist loop. Now, this is the big monster you saw, obviously edged. And this is the baby one, different color. Just look, you can even see the pattern from a certain angle. It's done very nicely. Now this, again, I've got OCD, yeah, leave it. Um, so this is the smaller version of our drying towel. It's actually quite a manageable shape. This, I'm still not sure what the hell this is, but look, I can even show you. So it's a tighter, tighter blend of towel. Obviously this is the dual side. So one sec, let's do it this way. So there's the short and up, as you can see. There's the short enough, as you can see, beautiful. And then there's the plus side. Excuse the dust, because those white towels are really, it's these things that are causing it. Now this is the coral blend. Again, it looks fantastic. It feels unbelievable. Let's see how it goes. Now again, this is another version, same side towel edged so we'll see now let's start moving on to the comparisons here this is the closest thing i can describe to our current utility towel 
And you can see the edging on it is just world class. Just look at the consistency. Very nice. This is the towel that I said to you, look, this is going to be the one that's going to pull you out of trouble. So I don't know if the camera will pick this up because it's just super bright. But this side here is obviously the plusher side and this side is the shorter nap. So that's going to be, you know, an interesting towel to test. Now, these are the three going lowest to highest. Obviously, you've got 350. 500 avoid these for now and you've got 600 gsm so it's an interesting towel again this is the lightest i mean just look at the, first of all i mean just look at the colors the colors are fantastic is that better there we go the colors are really nice very vibrant the fiber consistency is lovely look very nice again the fiber consistency on this gets slightly thicker as you can see and then you've got the ultimate thickness level it's there now this is what i was talking about just have a look so this is the same blend as this in fact you put it there it'll be camouflaged Beautiful. So, yeah, now will be another interesting topic. This is the mitt I was talking about. Whoa! Very nice. It's a nice mitt. It's got some good bite to it, but not like the last one. Again, if you don't like your hands being in there, you can fold it evenly. Boom, you've got a little scrub pad like a magic razor. Again, you could do it big, thin. Um, it doesn't really matter. Now look at this, I wanted to do this comparison for the sizing, so extra large, large, medium, small, okay? So now you can see the idea of what I'm talking about. It's, um, again, this will be a drying towel, this will be a door jam, wheels, and oh God, there's so many options you could actually do with this. The sky's the limit, but I'm gonna bring you in close. So obviously, actually, the way it worked out, look, white well light dark light dark so you can see the sizing comparison but there's that famous blend look at that you've got the darker square is the twist loop and then the lighter square from above is the plush that's nice and then obviously you've got these interesting things and you can never feel it through the camera but first of all look how thick it is right it's very cushioning and I've tried to do the same thing obviously there's only two sizes so you've got the large I'll call it medium or whatever it is so these two will be the ones that will really perk my attention because again you can transform let's say this towel into four areas of the car so even like a final wipe towel like even something like this i mean just look how tiny this is see very nice very foldable you can do like an on and off method with a detail spray spray wax whatever you want and then these towels i haven't yet decided what the hell they are they kind of all look this well they don't look the same so look again slightly shorten up slightly plushen up this very thick kind of like a woolly consistency um i don't know what you would use this for wheel sealants maybe um, and then this again this is this is an interesting towel i've used something of this caliber before feels nice obviously again just look this is why i say wash your towels straight out the pack because this towel is just putting all the little fluff bits everywhere now it's going on there but yeah, this is where we're currently at. Right guys, so this is it. Um, first look into, uh, I don't know, version 10 of the microfiber line. As you can see, they're all like, uh, pretty much all the towel development videos you've seen here, membership, everywhere else, 
it's you see in different things so it's not like i'm just constantly buying the same towels and saying which one feels better obviously some towels are the same or the same blend i'm not going to say the word same but to look the same feel the same um and they'll probably perform just as well like i always say when people ask me about machine polishing and kind of compounds when i say when you move into the last one percent two percent of the top world products they all do the same job it's just at that point it becomes preference the same thing with this the preference point being does dry does one dry better per inch of towel does one feel lighter plusher does one wash 10 times further down the line more than another towel so this is where i mean all the manufacturers that we are in contact with are the world best right they're the world's best manufacturers and um obviously i'm first of all i'm humble that they even want to speak to me but the fact that they are speaking to me and they are obviously giving me the opportunity to do this by the way this is all bought right this isn't free um whether you believe me or not i don't care i have bought all this um okay at a slight discount yes but it's not like this towels cost me a penny each everywhere this is um you know hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of microfiber multiple hundreds quite in the high hundreds as well so it's the reason i want to do this is one again nothing's ever free i believe that so i never want to ask for stuff for free um and second of all i'm supporting a company yes they may need not need my support but i want to support it's a philosophy and a lifestyle that i live by and um, second of all, uh, no, the third point is when I've paid for something, I've got a clear conscience, so I don't favor something. So imagine first video you saw, they gave it to me for free. They, and this company said, no, nah, we're going to charge you. So automatically, psycholog uh, psychologically, I'm going to think, well, I like the first company better. You think not, but trust me, you do. I've been in this position many times when people have offered me free stuff. Um, it's hard to fight it but that thought kind of creeps into it so everything's paid for and the reason is when i do test it i want to give you the viewer the best possible microfiber package on the planet right and i always say this word the best in the world best on the planet the most premium and i believe that you know um no, no company is right now filming something like this um and talking in as much detail as i can Again, I haven't used these towels, so I can only go as far as I can currently, but that will come. Um, so yeah, I don't think any company's doing this and it's kind of, you know, I want to give you, like I said, the best thing available in the world possible. This towel is, yeah, these towels aren't going to be cheap. Uh, I know that both to buy in and to sell. It's just the fact of life. I wish the cheapest, most accessible thing in the world was also the best, but as you know, it never is. So it's these obscure companies that sometimes only speak to certain people. That is where the magic lies. And obviously this is one of them companies. So we'll see, I don't know. We will see, I've got my hopes set high of the visual um, assessment i hope i don't crash and burn on camera next week or next month and say ta-da <laughs> and it look, you know it's absolute crap but um from what i kind of know about microfiber this you know it, it looks like uh, really good stuff so like i said just start a discussion please just this is really important this is going to cost in the lifetime of of the company millions of pounds this is right or if i go on something of this size millions of pounds involved over the long term obviously um so it's very important um to to get my avid viewers supporters whatever you want to call customers fans or well, everybody all them groups please jump in the comments um, and just let me know because um if this towel line comes to fruition of this size imagine so i buy everything tomorrow um obviously i need to sort out packaging so you know on the big towels so this this and this it's going to be an absolute nightmare because the way a ton and every time you increase an inch on packaging it just jumps through the roof so 
if this comes, this is going to be seriously one of the best tower lines going, I think, um, for an independent company. Because obviously I'm like I'm not sewing these towers at home, but as an independent company, I think this will be one of the best, if not the best. But time will tell. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's I've opened it in front of you on purpose. I will, obviously, I opened one bag just to make sure it didn't send me like face mask or something. But um, yeah, it's I opened it in front of you. I've got my first feel experience. I'm literally with you on this. Like I'm completely blind. So it's the first time for me, first time for you. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, you know, if if you like it, just leave me a like. If you don't like it, leave me a dislike. Who cares? Um, always leave me a comment. I reply to all my comments where I can. In fact, I haven't missed one yet, unless it's a stupid comment. Um, but yeah, I reply to you all guys. So if you've, you've got any questions on this, um, obviously don't forget we've got a community group as well where you've got more personal access to me, Kelly, and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to ask something, you're not probably comfortable where everybody can see it because YouTube is an open platform. Our Facebook community, so obviously Yumcast community, um, ask me there and we get all sorts of deep questions in there. But um, I'm, I'm sure this will be a talking point in my DMs, emails and stuff like that. So I'm expecting that. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you guys um, next week. Have a great week, guys, and I'll speak soon.